So welcome to another HTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the float property in CSS and this is basically like it's almost like the text align but for divs and images and things like that so what we're going to do is we're going to create two divs uh, just duplicate those and we're going to give these IDs so I'm going to give the first one ID of 1 and the second one an ID of 2 so we've got one and two. Um, right now we won't see anything because those are just empty. So we're going to give them some basic styles. So here we're going to do one. And we're going to give it a background color of green. Um, we'll also give it a width of 300 pixels and a height of 300 pixels. Just like that. Um, so that is the first one, and to save time, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy and paste this, rename this one to, and change this to red. So here we've got to see these two basic boxes using IDs, and we're just going to launch this in Chrome. You see, we've got our two boxes stacked up because by default that is how CSS works in HTML. It stacks all of your elements vertically. Now we want the green one to be on the left where it is right now. I want the red one to float over to the right, so almost to be aligned to the right. So we can do that simply by going float and set this to left and then float and set this to right. And that is pretty much as simple as it gets. So now if we look at it, we've got the green over here and we've got the red over there. Um, we could also have this inside a div if we wanted to. So if we had another div with an ID of box and then we close this off down here we could also um, put them inside here so give this a width of 300 pixel no sorry 600 pixels and we'll let it have an automatic height we'll also have a background color of blue just in case we need to see it so right now if I run this in Chrome again, you see they're right next to each other because there is one box here but we can't see it because these two are covering it up. So this is pretty much really useful for things like header bars where you want the logo on the, on the left and the navigation on the right or something like that. But if we were to get rid of these floats and then save it and run it in Chrome, you see they're, they're stacking on top of each other. And that is pretty much as easy as CSS can get with floats. Uh, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found it useful. And I will see you in the next tutorial.